Are you completely lost when it comes to thinking of content ideas and topics for your YouTube videos? If so, you are in the right place. Hang tight because in this video, I am going to show you the method that I use for generating endless content ideas. And we're going to talk about how to flesh those ideas out into a complete script outline that you can use to film your next video. And if we're just meeting, my name is Woody and this is Grown Up Pains where we talk about all things business and personal growth. Starting a YouTube channel can be one of the best paths to entrepreneurship, and it's a side hustle that can teach you a ton of great skills if you just stick with it. In this multi-video series, we'll be going over how to start a YouTube channel, how to monetize it as a side hustle, and everything that you need to know to get your first 1,000 subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds like something that you're into, please play whack-a-mole with that subscribe button. Actually, just hit it once. If you hit it twice, you might unsubscribe. So this video is going to be broken down into three main parts. Get organized, get writing, and get filming. So let's start with get organized. And this is going to answer the question of where should you put down all of your ideas? There's lots of places you could put them down. You could handwrite them in a journal. You could use some sort of online place to keep them. Uh, or notes on your phone. When it comes to brainstorming and keeping track of all of your ideas, you could put them down in any number of places. The key point here is that any system will do. Whether you're jotting them down in a journal or on paper, or you're going the electronic route of keeping them on your computer or in the cloud, the important thing is to just pick a system. Now, if you go the electronic route, there are a few paths you could take. Some of the common ones are Google Docs or Asana. Uh, other people like to use Notion. And by the way, if you use any of these systems, let me know in the comments which one you like and why. It can be very easy to get caught up in trying to figure out which system is best for your productivity or uh, which is going to keep you the most organized. And there's so many options out there. You could download 20 different apps on your phone and end up not really using any of them. Or you might open them all one time and play around with it, get confused, and then you've got to just pick one and stick with it. And there's three criteria that I recommend when you're trying to pick one. Pick the one that you already have, pick the one that you already know, and pick the one that's free. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna be using Google Docs. I like Google Docs because it's free, it's easy, and it syncs across all of my devices. I love the fact that I can edit anywhere, whether I'm on my computer or on my phone. When inspiration strikes, I can open up a Google Doc and just start jotting notes down, or I can pick up where I left off on a document that I started earlier. And another added benefit of having it synced across multiple devices is that while you're filming, you can actually use your computer to film and have another device like an iPad with your document pulled up uh, for your script so you have bullet points to read off of. And I'll actually show you what I'm doing here. So I've got my, I've actually got my computer over here, but I've got my tablet uh, with a Google Doc that I'm referencing for this script for this video. So once we've picked a system and we've gotten organized, step two is to get writing. So for this, we're gonna come over to uh, Google, so open up your browser, sign in, and we're just gonna click on the apps up here. If you're unfamiliar with Google Docs, there's all kinds of Google stuff here, right? Your, your Gmail, your YouTube, everything, your Drive. Uh, we're just gonna come down here until you see Docs, and we're gonna click on Docs, all right? Uh, if you have no documents yet, certainly you can uh, start from one of their templates, but we are just gonna go ahead and open up a blank document. All right, so this is the blank canvas. We're about to get writing here. Um, but before we do, I want to talk about our list of lists method, okay? So the idea here is that everything is a list, and we can nest lists inside of lists. So the method that I use is called the list of lists method, uh, and I did totally steal this from Ali Abdal, but um, it is an excellent method for getting your ideas out, and when you're not really sure where to start, just, just kind of putting something down on the page and then kind of fleshing it out as you go. Um, so the prompt for this is, but if you already have an idea of what your niche is, then we want to come up with what kind of topics would your audience be interested in and what kind of topics would you be interested in making videos about? So don't overthink it. Just think like kind of stuff would you not mind talking about? And, and they all don't have to be like showstopper ideas. We can come up with just anything that comes to mind and then we're, we're going to go from there. Okay. So let's start with content main topics okay we're just going to start with that let's go over here and make a uh, list bullet points numbered list however you like to do it so some ideas of things you might want to talk about how to turn your side hustle into a business 
how to start a YouTube channel. Uh, let's see, how to build an email mailing list, how to earn money through affiliate marketing, how to write and self publish an ebook or paperback. Okay. Uh, let's see how to read more books when you have no free time, uh, how to become financially responsible, how to get out of debt. Uh, anyway, so that's a good starting point. Try to come up with like maybe 10 ideas. Um, let's see. I should be able to squeak out two more. <laughs> uh, how to set up a website on WordPress. Um, how to set up a YouTube studio. Okay. So we've got our uh, 10 main topics. All right. These are topics that I've been interested in myself the last year or more, um, or things that I've like touched on or done myself. Uh, if you are following this channel or subscribed or consider subscribing, uh, these are things that I might be talking about in the next you know few months, uh, in the next year, um, as we make more videos. Uh, just some topics, you know, like uh, last year, actually, I wrote and published a short book. I mean, like less than 50 pages, but saw a podcast that was like, hey, it's really easy to do this. Uh, you just have to learn the skills to doing it and going through it should really only take like an hour or two. And I was like, well, that's crazy. Anybody can write and publish a book and it'll they'll print it and send it to whoever buys it. Awesome. <laughs> you know, uh, so that's something that I might make a, uh, the next video series on. Um, this particular video series is about how to get started on YouTube, how to monetize it as a side hustle, and how to get your first 1,000 subscribers. So um, that's actually kind of what I've built out using this method, and we're, we're just gonna take that and run with it, okay? So let's, let's take one of these ideas, how to start a YouTube channel, and we are just going to make that the next headline here, okay? How to start a YouTube channel, and let's come up with, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 more ideas on this topic. So forget all the other nine up here. We're just doing this one. And what are some subtopics? So we made our first list. Now we're making a list inside of a list. All right. So how to start a YouTube channel and just what are some things that have to do with YouTube channels? Uh, YouTube shorts. Okay. Uh, how to find your niche, uh, how to monetize your YouTube channel. <laughs> how to set up a YouTube channel, how to upload your first video, why starting a YouTube channel will change your life, how to stay consistent how to generate video ideas we're doing that inside this video right now how meta hmm. let's see how to not burn out all right uh, how to edit videos how to light your setup how to steal ideas, how to create a visual brand, how to rank in search results, how to be more confident on camera, how to set up your audio, how to write a script another thing we're going to talk about in this video how to create compelling titles 
how to make a thumbnail, how to edit everything on your phone. Okay, so 20 video ideas on this one topic. And, you know, we could keep going in terms of this, but yeah, that's that's 20 ideas. That's 20 videos. If you're filming one video every two weeks, I mean, it's almost a year's worth of content right there. Uh, depends on how fast you're trying to go, but um, this is a great starting point. So let's let's build it out a little further. We We made one list and then we made another list inside of that list. I mean, really all of that falls under this, right? So let's let's go a little further. YouTube Shorts, okay? Hit the indent button, hit the tab button. Power of YouTube Shorts, how to make them with your phone, how to level them up. All right, how to find your niche. Who am I? Who are they? How can I add value to them? How to monetize your YouTube channel. Google AdSense is one way. Affiliate marketing is another way. Funnels, other methods, which then could include sponsorships. All right, so there's another one. Um, let's see, how to set up your YouTube channel. Uh, I just made this video the how to set up a YouTube channel one and you know, I haven't even edited yet or uploaded it yet, but uh, so we're, we're batch filming too. So batching is another topic you could do here, like how to film multiple videos at one time, but how to make a channel. So a setting things up channel banner and other details. Okay. Um, we're going to flesh this one out a little bit. So, uh, for that video, I actually did, um, make a new Gmail account or use your existing one. Um, for those that don't know, Gmail equals a Google account, which equals a YouTube account. Okay. Um, channel banner. Uh, let's get over to Canva for that. Um, how to set up a free account on Canva and uh, how to use templates or make your own. All right, other details. So uh, channel settings, customizations, and upload your banner and first video. Okay. So then how to upload your first video. Um, I did that one earlier. Why starting a YouTube channel will change your life. How to stay consistent, how to generate videos, ideas, how to not burn out, edit your videos. So all, all these, but you're, you're getting the idea, right? Let's see how to find your niche. Can I build this one out a little bit more for you? I think I can bear with me one second. Find your niche. Okay, so this one's fun. And again, I just made this video and it hasn't been uploaded yet, but here's kind of where we went. So we're answering the question, who am I? And, and what I mean by that is who are you, right? So who am I? What are your skills and experiences? What are you good at? What is your professional experience? What are your interests? All right, interests and passions. All right, how about what are your values and beliefs? Okay, and then who are they? Who are they? Uh, who is your target audience? We'll talk about um, total addressable market or TAM, right? Business term right there. Who is your individual avatar? So thinking of like one person in mind. Uh, so you can create a fictitious person or you can be thinking of someone you know, a family member, a friend, um, coworker, somebody that asks you for help with things all the time. Um, and then that is like your avatar. That's the person that you're talking to when you're looking at the camera. So who are they? Um, what is it that you're trying to help them with? You know, so anyway, that's just flushing this stuff out. Um, so lists inside of lists inside of lists. I mean, we started with this list and then one thing from that list started this list. And then that gave us like 20 things. And then we took 
each one of those things and added at least like two or three more bullet points, maybe four bullet points. And then each of those bullet points has one, two, three, four, five, uh, you know, bullet, sub bullet points. Uh, and then you can get into specifics like, so like start answering these questions like, what jobs have you done before? I'm like, oh, I was a delivery guy and I was a waiter in a uh, restaurant and a, a bartender and a uh, sales person and a um, web developer and you know like actually go in and but answer these questions for yourself um and by the time you're done doing this you have like a whole script so so then what you do is you take this this is your video idea like how to find your niche and then once you filled it out just take all of it okay and go back here and you've got that document saved you should title it but then open up a new document and title it well, just paste how to find your niche and that is your title okay this is your outline uh, and you could even go so far as to put in what is your hook gonna be um, what is your intro this is your script uh, and then what is your CTA or call to action um, so what are you asking your audience to do, which if you haven't leave a comment and you might ask them to like the video, which if you haven't liked this video, uh, you might ask them to subscribe. And if you haven't, please subscribe to this channel right now, please do it, do it right now. Okay. Thanks. So that's basically it for scripting this stuff out. All right. So we can come back here and, and, uh, back to our untitled document, but you've got, you know, all of these ideas and we just hammered that out in a few minutes. I mean, I don't know. I, by the time this is edited, I think we'll be maybe about like 10 minutes in at this point. So we'll see. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool, right? So we've gotten organized by choosing the system that we will use to jot down our ideas. Don't overcomplicate it. Just pick one. Pick one that's easy. Pick one that's free and stick with it. All right. Pick the one that you know already um, and then get writing. So list of lists, right? We just went over a demo of that. And then if you have trouble getting started, um, try stealing someone else's list or ideas as a warm up. And to be completely candid, that's exactly what I've done. I watch, I don't know, hundreds of videos on YouTube by now, people, you know, going over how to do this stuff. And, you know, something, something clicks with the system and I'm like, oh, let me try that. And honestly, like I just struggled to brainstorm some of my own ideas. So I just kind of like copied down some of their ideas and then I went in there and tweaked it and I was like, okay, now that I'm going, like I've got some momentum, uh, let me go ahead and add in my own ideas and then maybe even completely do away with their ideas, but just use someone else's to get started. So go ahead and steal this template, copy it word for word, like go to your computer right now, open up a Google doc and just start this video over again and just type everything that I've been typing, just type it out, just get it under your fingers, just get used to doing it. And then when you get bored of copying what I'm doing and you start having your own ideas, like, you know, start putting those in there. And if you're like, none of these ideas resonate with me, like just do it a little bit more until you find one that does and go, okay, how can I expand upon this one? Everything else, just put it aside. Just how can I expand upon this one idea? So make your list, aim for two or three things, and then go to the first one of those things and add two or three things for that. And then the second one of those things, and you know, list and list and list. And if you liked the list of list ideas, let me know by clicking the like button on this video. Supposedly that helps the algorithm know who to show this video to because they are also interested in list inception. Now, once that you have your ideas generated and you have a whole script ready to go, and you're just trying to get over that hurdle of actually setting up the camera and turning it on and pressing record and filming what you want to film. If you're trying to get over that hurdle and film your first video, I will link a video right here. So go ahead and click onto that and we're going to start filming your first YouTube video.